Warning, this video is not meant to displace the need for having a qualified person who is familiar with the construction and operation of all equipment in the system in which these products will be used and the potential hazards involved. We hope you find this video helpful as a supplemental tool in helping you to better understand the instructions stated in this video. Welcome to Worldwide Electric's instructional step-by-step -step video on how to properly install a C-flange onto a Worldwide Epic Plus electric motor. This demonstration will apply to all 250T frame and higher of the Worldwide Epic Plus model. All 250T frame and higher Epic Plus motors will have a bearing retainer. With 210 and lower, you simply remove the end bell and install the C-flange. Once you acquire your selected motor, you will need to order the appropriate size C-flange kit. In the C-flange kit package, you will find a C-flange and hardware and four bolts with washers. The C-flange kits will not include the grease zerk fitting or relief plug. These will need to be removed from the original end bell and reinstalled onto the C-flange. Tools recommended are two threaded rods that match the threads of the bearing retainer bolts, a socket wrench, a socket for the bearing retainer bolts, a socket for the end bell bolts, a socket to fit the grease zerk fitting, two chisels, a punch, a rubber mallet, and a standard hammer. First simple step is to remove the shaft protector and remove the shaft key. Set aside. Then remove the three bearing retainer bolts. Then remove the end bell bolts. Now carefully using the chisel and hammer, separate the end bell from the frame. This will also loosen the bearing retainer and bearing seal. Using the rubber mallet, hitting the outside of the end bell, remove the seal, bearing retainer, and end bell entirely. Now, take the C-flange and prepare to install it onto the motor. Make sure the grease zerk fitting hole is facing up. Lay the C-flange onto the motor shaft, making sure the inner bearing cap is aligned correctly with the grease slot facing up. Take one of the threaded rods. Using the correct bearing retainer bolt hole, install through the C-flange end bell and into the inner bearing cap. Tighten the threaded rod holding the inner bearing cap in place. Take the second threaded rod and repeat. Now that the threaded rods are in place, you can now install the C-flange to the frame. Again, make sure the zerk fitting hole is at 12 o'clock, and the bolt holes to secure the C-flange to the frame of the motor are aligned. Using the hardware bolts provided, install the end bell bolts with washers. Slowly tighten the bolts, a little at a time to make sure the flange is installed and as evenly as possible. Once the flange is in place, take the outer bearing cap with the grease slot facing up and put it into place. Pull the threaded rod towards you so the inner cap is aligned in place. Take one of the bearing cap bolts and install it till hand tight. Still holding the threaded rod, take off the other threaded rod and install your second bearing retainer bolt. Tighten till hand tight. Take out the other threaded rod and install the last bearing retainer bolt. Once all three bearing retainer bolts are hand tight, take your socket wrench and tighten a little at a time to make sure that the bearing retainer is installed as evenly as possible. Now, take the bearing seal and put it back on through the shaft. Take the punch and mallet, then slowly and evenly install it tightly back into place. Once tight. Grab the shaft and spin it to make sure the shaft spins freely. Now remove the zerk fitting from the original end bell and install it onto the C-flange into the 12 o'clock hole. Take the relief plug from the C-flange that is located at 7 o'clock and install into the C-flange, same location. 
This concludes the installation process of the C-Flange for the worldwide Epic Plus electric motor 250T frame and up. If you have any questions, feel free to call us at 1-800-808-2131. And thank you for choosing Worldwide Electric and Hyundai Heavy Industries.